What's going on, guys? Uh, thought we'd take a look at something uh, pretty cool that may help you out in your uh, emulation setup here. Joy to Key. If you don't know what that is, it's one of your best friends, especially when you're trying to set up your emulation to the point where you're going to be hooking up like a computer or something um, to your TV. And so that you can start emulating and playing like with your controller sitting on the couch in the living room or whatever. Well, one of the drawbacks is that most emulators don't come with an inherent uh, configuration or button setup that would map to the controller to let you quit out of a game while you're playing it or whatever. So uh, say you're playing, you know, Sonic and you want to switch to a different game. Well, you have to like click like the escape button or the Alt F4 uh, keys on the keyboard in order to get out of the game and back to your front end like emulation station or hyperspin or whatever well joy to key is a kind of a separate program it runs in the background all the time and you can map anything from the keyboard to your controller uh, so what i've done is i've mapped uh, you know, the R3 and L3 where you click the button down on the joystick, you click it in. Uh, I've set those for one is escape and the other one is hitting Alt F4. And so that way you don't have to get up and down like off the couch or, you know, even lean forward in your chair if you're just gaming on your PC or whatever on your monitor. You know, it's kind of all automated onto the controller. And so we'll just quickly set it up. It's super easy. Um, it doesn't you know, have anything to do specifically with like emulation station or any of the other front ends, but it's something that can run in the background and work in tandem with it. It just doesn't install or anything into those. You don't have to do any configuration and like the front ends, you just turn it on and then the computer is always listening for those inputs from the uh, controller. So um, I'll put the link in the description be below to download joy to key. Uh, it's basically joypad to keyboard, you know, is what it is. Um, it's very simple, very easy. And so what we'll do is we've downloaded it. It's in our zip folder. We will open our emulation folder. I've got it over here off to the side. So remember, uh, if you've looked at any of my other videos, we go into this all the time. I like to stick it in the systems folder because I like to consider it part of my emulation systems makeup. It can exist anywhere on the computer, though. We're just going to kind of um, pick a use case scenario for this, which is basically when we're playing our emulation games through Emulation Station, uh, we want to quit out of the game, out of the emulator, and back to Emulation Station. And so by pressing one of these keys, um, naturally, when you're playing on an Emulation Station and you start a game up and you're playing Fusion or whatever, and you hit the Alt F4 button, it automatically closes the emulator and pops emulation station back up. We're just automating that now to a key press on the controller. So uh, we'll open this up here and all we do is we just drag and drop so that now we have joy to key, uh, the English version <laughs> in um, our systems folder. And once again, like I said, this has nothing to do actually with emulation station. We don't have to go into our systems config and um, program emulation station to recognize this. This is a separate program that runs on the computer. So once we have it, uh, just drag and drop in there, it's ready to go already. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda just walk through exactly how to kinda set these keys up and the sky's the limit as far as what you wanna do. Um, this can, you can really map any keyboard function, to my knowledge, pretty much any of them, um, straight to you know a couple of button presses or a button press on the um, uh, controller. So go ahead and open it up. And you'll see at the bottom, it's now in the system tray. So we'll click the, okay, thank you for downloading type thing. If we were to close this out, you'll see it's still in the system tray down below, which actually it's cutting off my screen here. So you can't see it. I promise it's there. See, there it is. <laughs> uh, so it runs all the time. Like that's the best part is so, you don't have to keep opening this up every single time before you open up Emulation Station and order, or any other front end for that matter, before so that way your controller recognizes it. You can get this to start up as soon as your computer starts up. So it's always like kind of paying attention that, hey, if that controller, if it pushes those buttons, I'll do that command. Um, so I've got this open, I've got my controller on. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. 
um, just an old one. And if I push the buttons on here, you will see that the corresponding, you know, um, configuration lights up. So if I push the A button, button one lights up. B, Y, X, start. I think starts down below. Uh, this goes on pretty far, you know, of any button, you know. And then there's the right hand joystick, left hand joystick, up and down, you know, so. I think this controller is a little wonky. You can say that uh, stick two is kind of staying on every once in a while. So, okay. So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and have my um, left joystick when I push it in, you know, that little clicky one that sometimes people don't know exists. I want that to be my escape button. I apologize if all these other ones are kind of sticking on here. Uh, so I click it and I see that's button nine. So I click on nine with my cursor and I open it up and it gives me all these available options to do. You can even do mouse things and all that. Um, I believe you can even designate that when you, you can control your mouse with <laughs> the joystick. I think this even has that capability, which is pretty cool. So you can kind of move your mouse around and everything to the point where you wouldn't even need a keyboard or uh, actually a mouse to do that. And you can have like A as the key click and stuff like that and the mouse click. So oh, we're not going to get into that. So... The first one here is highlighted and we're going to hit the escape button and now we're good to go. So now my L3 button, uh, when I click it down, it's going to hit the escape button just like the keyboard would. I also like to do that. Not every time we hit escape quits out of an emulator. Sometimes you got to alt F4 out of it, um, which is a little bit more hardcore. And so I want my R3, my other click in one to be uh, alt F4. So to um, do that, the first button will be Alt, and then just the next one will be F4. So, and you can see you can do up to four buttons here, and there's a lot of other cool, neat things you can do with it. You can dive into it of repeats and all that kind of stuff with all that kind of stuff. It's not that useful for what we're doing here. Uh, we'll click OK, and now you'll see our button 9 and 10 are mapped to different things on the... Um, layout here now keep in mind that if a game was to use like the l3 or r3 for whatever like it's a scope in or something or to reset your view or whatever that won't work it's going to try to use the in-game thing but then also the computer's going to override and go ah you're hitting alt f4 and it's going to quit out so keep that in mind the nice thing though is is that most older emulating game emulated games you know thing from like Sega to even like the Wii and stuff like that don't really need that many buttons and so very rarely do they utilize any of those stuff maybe PS2 emulation might incorporate a game or two in there but you'll know ahead of time you know and maybe you can find another one if you've got one of those crazy like mad cats you know USB uh, game controllers those off-brand ones those got like 14 billion buttons you could have a totally different button do that so uh, yeah or you could do start select although then you'd be out of a start select anyways now that we've got that up we're good to go um, I'm not even gonna really like show you an emulator because it doesn't even need to I'll just show that it will quit anything so I've got a joy to key open here and uh, you see my mouse is nowhere near the X button I'm gonna alt F4 out of it boom it's gone it's that easy so it's going to close out any window so when you're emulating the emulator is going to be the top window all the time all you have to do is alt f4 out of it or escape out of it i'll do the same thing here alt f i'll do the escape it doesn't work of course but we know the escape works and then alt f4 boom so it's as easy as that this will be a huge leap forward in an area where maybe you are trying to game from the couch and stuff like that or because you have not been able to kind of cycle through your games you know at a distance you know away from the computer this might give you an idea to do it grab an old laptop slap a couple of emulators on there throw emulation station on there grab your controller throw joy to key on there and all of a sudden you're going to see that uh, you can start cycling through things a lot easier and more effortlessly um, by having these things in here. So anyways, right on. Um, if you guys have any comments or questions or anything or uh, any other different types of programs other than joy to key that you like to use, like uh, drop them in the comments below and we'll kind of uh, collaborate on what we feel is like the best way to 
be as lazy as possible with still looking through these games and stuff like that. All right, guys. Happy emulating.